I'm Rizpar Batani, I'm a specialist orthodontist, I'm a partner principal in a group practice of three practices in southwest London. Um, we've had an initial practice for 20 odd years, uh, but uh, 2019 we won two tenders in the London orthodontic um, tender process. And uh, October 2019, we opened two new practices, which brought us up to three practices. Um, and we uh, had been running these until May uh, this year, 2022, uh, when we um, actually completed on selling the business uh, using Lilyhead. We decided on um, selling the practice, the, the business, approximately 18 months ago. Um, obviously, COVID had a big effect on when, when we decided to, to go ahead. Um, as, as people may be aware, the uh, orthodontic contracts are all time limited. So there was always going to be a point where if we did want to exit the business, there was going to be a sweet spot where there needed to be um, enough length of the contract left for for it to have um, some value to uh, to to a purchaser, um, um, but also um, we with, with COVID that sort of slightly delayed our plans. Uh, but we also found because of COVID and generally the increased demands in uh, compliance and administration, um, we felt it was the right time to uh, consider selling. Uh, we were recommended uh, Lilyhead by two different sources. One was our accountant who'd um, had uh, uh, one or two practices that had previously been sold by uh, Lilyhead and uh, they recommended that the process had gone very well and the vendors were really happy at how Lilyhead had, had managed the sales. Um, and also from um, a friend of mine who'd actually um had been approached uh, was looking to to lily head as well and had uh, had, had a good experience um having had a discussion uh with 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 them so um we did consider other uh, other brokers um and we definitely knew we wanted to use a broker because we 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 did realize that we're not the experts um in trying to sell a practice and going direct to a, uh, a specific buyer or um, would not have worked for us. The business was too big for, for that. It, it was more, it was too big and too intricate and had scale and we needed professionals involved. Um, and uh, we, uh, I have said, had very good feedback. And after our first meeting with, um, with the head, which was actually, prior to the the tender process which is almost four four or five years ago um we were very confident that we were going to use Lilyhead, and then we were just waiting on the contracts to come through after the tendering and then obviously covid covid hit but but um, what was great was that the team at Lilyhead had always kept in contact But once we decided uh, that we did want to go ahead with the sale, the first thing we did was um, ask Lilyhead to, to, to uh, do a valuation. Um, and uh, that came in at probably where we were expecting and um, seemed a very, very reasonable um, valuation considering the, the lay of the land at this at that stage especially you know uh, we were just coming out of COVID as well um, and then it was a case of Lily Head and the team bringing in people and introducing people uh, and business and business and corporates that will, they fit they felt would fit um uh, the, our profile, and um, the the way they did this was very very um, efficient, I would say, and very um, very professional. 
Um, it, it didn't feel like it was just an ad hoc of you know going to an, a, all and sundry because they realised there'd be a lot of time wasting if you just go straight out to a broad market and you then there would only be a few people that could um, in reality afford the business. Um, and and one of the things that we thought was really really helpful was that. And this is what our accountant had said to us as well, that Lily had really hold your hand all the way through through this process. And we found that was that that's exactly what the case was. We we never felt like, um, you know, you need we were left alone. Um, Abby or one of the team was always on the uh, the uh, the line. Um, there was a point where Abby had had to go on some manual leave and she handed over to her colleague and it was absolutely seamless. I mean, her colleague knew exactly where we were in the process. It was quite a critical point. It just, just happened that there was a delay, so hence um, uh, annual leave took over, but it, it was seamless. The colleague knew exactly uh, what offers there were, where we were in the process. He knew the negotiation. It was it was literally like um, swapping in, swapping out, no problem, uh, which was really, really true. I thought that was truly amazing, actually. That was fantastic. There was that didn't delay the process at all. Um, and again, once we'd actually had the offer and we were going through the due diligence, it wasn't a case of, oh, you guys need to just get on with the due diligence and hand out, you know, your lawyers and everyone was sorted out. Um, it was a case of Abby was there all the time, sort of just just to help out and say, look, how's it going? How can I help? Can I talk, get get involved? And it was it wasn't in, in a pushy way. It was a case of just moving things forward. Overall, it's just a complete package. Um, obviously, we were the sellers, so there wasn't any us to worry about finance or anything like that. So. Um, you know, on the part that we weren't sort of buying. Um, but I'm sure actually on their finance side, it would be a, a similar situation. They'd be very, very professional. And I and, and I said, just, just to reiterate again, the hand-holding aspect of it, especially when we had some glitches um, along the way, which happens in any, any sale, it was amazing. And actually, Abby would directly kind of just sort it out on our behalf. It wasn't us sort of tearing our hair out. Uh, she would um, be the ringmaster, get the lawyers, get the the buyers, um, and just make sure. Yep, do you know everyone? Uh, every, is everyone understanding where we are? What the issues were, and and extremely responsive. So really, really very pleased. Um, and this is all. And this is also sort of not even discussing the value they achieved, which is which is fantastic. Um, so we were extremely, extremely happy with that. And I think we um, can say we got sort of the, the best, best value financially as well. Do get all your ducks in a row, even before you, you go down the, you know, going to market, get, you know, your due diligence done, make sure leases are all correct making sure your compliance is up to date because we were pretty efficient having come out of a tender. We pretty much had everything in place and it's still, there was stuff that was uh, missing or needed to be done last minute. You know, these things do, do come up and, you know, we'd gone through CQC inspections literally 18 months before. So we had everything pretty much on file, but you, if you don't have all this stuff in play, it will take longer. Um, and we managed to get the sale done within five months, five and a half. Uh, um, so that was that was pretty good for quite a, a you know a three three site group practice um, in southwest London. So we were very very pleased with the whole process and would have no qualms about uh, recommending Abby and the team um, to to anyone. That that was it, they were fantastic and they did exactly what they said in the tin. Um, they held our hands all the way through it and uh, couldn't fault them, could not fault them at any any point.